Inez looking to run the show. Kicks out to Barry for three and one. Ty Berry, hello. Forced Ty Berry's defender to help. Allow Ty Berry to get the open three for the and one. Yeah, Busy Mata was the third rated power forward in the Dallas area. Robbie Barron, hello. Gets the whistle and the dunk. Sorry to cut you off there, Trey. Robbie Barron can play that wing position when he's asked to, especially on the defensive end. High point still in this zone look. And Bowie gets an open three out of it and drains it. You got to think head coach Chubby Smith went to the zone. This takes a look at on film. It's not going to be happy about. We see Boo Bowie drop the Wildcats' first three. Elijah Williams' first attempt of the game from the field is Childress. A little bit of a dribble drive. Pass is tipped and picked by Roper. Roper running the other direction. Into Peterson. Kick. Greer, three, got it! St. Hilaire continues up the court. He's going inside again, this time met by Nance. And the pass is loose and stolen by Bowie. Three on two, lob for Simmons. Who puts it home? Cats cruising in transition. Northwestern is running right with him as Bowie, the lob to Simmons for that big dunk. St. Hilaire trying to get something going. Blocked on the interior by Nance. Pete Nance so physical in there, and he's running the court on the other end. The lob, the finish. Pete Nance slams it home, and this place goes berserk. Boo Booey threw that lob from just inside of half court, and Nance went up huge plus the foul. And now the Cats are rolling up eight. What happened with them when they were trying to get to Philadelphia? Yeah, it's crazy. They're supposed to play Drexel. Oh, Woo. nice dunk right there by Pete Nance. It's led by Pete Nance. Ryan Young, Robbie Barron, Boo Booey. The group of those players, they stayed together. Miller Cobb ended up leaving Indiana. It might have been addition by subtraction. Robin is getting a little bit three hoisty against that Northwestern zone two. Nance, Barron on the kick out. Here's the freshman Julian Roper out to Booey. Excellent ball movement. You just try to give it a chance up off the rim, but you just can't let an offensive player spit, split that easily. Bowie with the contact. Boo Bowie a chance for three on the foul from Durham. You've got to trust his ability to shoot it, so Al Durham's going to play from behind. He's going to trail. Ingram offline. You're not going to answer that? Keep that a secret. Control. Young. Off the five from Bowie, Young absorbs the contact and scores. Because we like space doesn't mean rim running's done, right? Rim running's still important. Why? Because you want that defense to, to sag in, take that away, and you got to throw ahead three. Teams are willing to shoot the three in transition. Still good defense by Aaron Cook. Here's Edder. Remember, he was fouled on a three at the end of the last game. This time it's taken by Greer. He banks it in, and it's good. A flat-footed hoist from Ryan Greer. Six points for Greer, and the officials want to make sure he got it off in time. He did. As soon as he let it go, it looked like it had a chance, too. It really did. It really did. Did he get it off in time? And not the time for balloon and candles. And slip shot, no. Rebound. Ardish. And Wildcats keep it alive. On the drive. Barron with the slam. My goodness. Sky for the flush. Because of plays like this, Robbie Barron says, get out of the way. I'm coming through. Both of you are getting some of this one. Robbie Barron. But that's what you want. No doubt. He knows what he can get now, getting by and sneaking along the baseline. Boo Booey, nice spin move in the finish. Uh, Adige is a, along with Pete Nance, is an all conference caliber player. Great right pass there on the run by Barron. Barry knocks it down for three. Ty Barry, great three point shooter. I know Chris Collins, talking to him earlier today, is really excited that he's back on the court. Nikita has it blocked. Barry in the open floor. And the lob to Barron, and he slams it home. But it's Ty Berry up to Barron with the slam. Just underway here at Northwest. And he has it stripped from behind. Great hands by Castillo. Greer takes it right back. Berry from way outside. Got it! And Ty Berry has been hot all season. Good screen from Kelly. Frees up Robinson, but the pass is poor. And Berry's coming the other way. The love for Adige. Here's Ty Berry, who launches from deep and drains it. 
Northwestern by three. He is sizzling hot right now. Basketball. Three's going though. Ty Berry getting it done. Knocking down the three from the left wing. Aikens for three. Could not save the possession for Michigan State. Joey Hauser just looks so unconfident. What a pass. That was a confident pass from Boo Booey to Casey Simmons. A lay-in and a foul. Basket for Northwestern. Should have been a layup on this end for Michigan State. How about the freshman on the floor? Jaden Aikens trying to block this pass. Really nicely done by Boo Booey. Throwing it up and letting your athletic freshman go get it. Got his number called. Pinned Nance in the paint. A nice finish. Robbie Barron launches from three and hits Northwestern with a 3 2 lead early. Barry, wing three. It's good! And a foul! Shot clock. He's clapping for it. Give it to me. Feeling good from the wing. Takes the hit. Keeps the follow through uh, Northwestern up seven to try to get Northwestern out of this early hole. They have struggled in this building. They've only won once in 18 tries here. That's a good start out of the timeout. Julian Roper with the bucket. He also got fouled by Cedric Russell. Pointing things out they can do better. Final seconds on Deej. No, Young. Another offensive board, and Young gets the stick back at the horn. Uh, Deej getting the rebound. There's Robbie Barron for three, and he got it. What an aggressive start. Robbie Barron looking for his offense. They got 11 offensive boards for Northwestern. Just four for Michigan State. Bingham lost it going up. No foul. Audige, little Euro step up and in. Inside, off the glass, missed it. Never hit the rim. Shot clock didn't reset. Greer cutting through. What a cut. What a pass by Matthew Nicholson. Look at that shot clock running down. Yes, gets it off. Great cut to the basket. Just thought it was a, a situation of his role and his level. There's Boo Booey hitting a three. Way too long. Yeah, five to shoot. Now he should have to put it up. Ortiz gets to the rim and finishes. The man who is number seven all time is sitting to my right, Robbie Hummel. Top of the arc, Barry, and he can't. a good answer by Ty Barry. It's a huge shot for Northwest. Northwestern, over their last five. They haven't scored in nearly five minutes. That drought needs to end quickly here. Nance into the shot clock, and that drought does stop on a desperation heat by Nance. Once he's gotten into Big Ten play, it's been a pretty good Devontae Jones. And he's the grad transfer from Coastal Carolina. Inside, Nance, good feed. From Boo Booey, who's tied for the league lead in assists. That's that roll and replace act. And one, Greer gets it off, and he got it. And North. Williams trying to shake and bake on Colburn. And he gets. Oh my goodness. And Williams, he's going to start the move. He says, wait a minute, let me try it again. Up and under, left hand. Nice job by Elijah Williams. 8-0 run over the last two-plus minutes of this game. Bowie, one last desperation. He makes the shot. McConnell, the Mulcahy, who has it swatted away by Nance. And trying to get to the further rim. However, Pete Nance says no. By Northwestern, they go big, small screen. They get the mismatch, and then a beautiful pass. It all started with the set. They got the mismatch, and now Pete Mance, you look at his eyes the entire time. The other team comes, yeah, that help from Andre. Five to shoot. Bowie, the step back, drains the three. And all of a sudden, those threes are falling. Excellent size, handles it well. Good feel for the floor. That's why he's playing the point position. Bowie drops the three down. I mean, the offensive glass, they're paying dividends for Illinois. Illinois plus five, three offensive rebounds. What a move there by Ryan Young, somehow going under the arm of Kofi Cope. Well, he finds unique angles to score the ball in this league and some of the big CCs, and there's the footwork that he's got. He just kind of tosses it up. It's got just the right amount of spin to hit that rim, and... We're now guarding Hunter. And that one denied there by Ryan Young. 
Here's Elijah Williams in the open court. Goes straight to the hoop and lays it in. Where would the offense come from? Where would the points come from? Where would some of the leadership come from? Minnesota is, is answering all of those questions here today. Pete Ants above the rim play. Yeah, so he's really locked in and playing his best basketball of the season. There's Nance with a pull-up that goes. So Northwestern four of four from the field after a really poor. And now they have combined for nine of their last 12 field goals. And Williams the up and under, and he gets the foul. Second half as a passer here. The ball moving to Williams. Bowie around the young screen, sails it into the corner. Trying to go to work is Julian Roper. Reverse on the baseline. Nice play by the freshman. The Northwestern share in the rock. They've got six assists on their eight made field goals. There's another field goal and a second three in the first half for Robbie Barron. Tell you what, Robbie Barron, nice pass fake, freezes the D. Hello. Bowie has it stripped. Good hands by Sutherland. He's going to take it himself, and Nance says, no, sir, not on my senior night, not in my house. On both sides, Sutherland's like, I'm going for keeps, and Nance's like, no, you're not. Just like you said, Brad, it's my senior night, not yours. Love the effort by both sides. You mentioned he's the co-Big Ten Player of the Week. First Husker to win that award in four years. Good action there. Julian Roper late. Roper, the freshman. Young offensive rebound and puts it back in. Nine offensive rebounds here tonight. Julian Roper, the initial drive. Brian Young corralling it. That shot clock winding down. I think he got it off. I'm thinking he did too. Yep. Taking advantage of the opportunities that's given. He really makes a difference. Wrap around the young inside. Two for Young. 